Hey yeah, my name is Maria Aldrey and welcome back to this channel where we talk about personal productivity and knowledge management. And in this video, I want to give you a little tour of how I'm using Notion in 2022, specifically how I'm still using the methods from building a second brain, how I now write on my journal every day, and also how I track my mood and habits. If you have seen my previous videos on Notion here in YouTube, you will know that I'm a Notion lover. I love this app because it's so versatile and I can just make it my own. Basically, I've helped thousands get organized with Notion or just help them how to use it in a way that works for them. So stay tuned if you wanna keep watching all of that stuff. One of the many ways that I use Notion is by making it one of my tools for as a second brain. I collect and organize information there, but not only that, I write and edit and produce things within Notion. And by second brain, I mean it's, it's a set of dynamic tools where you can not only store knowledge, but move decisively through projects and express yourself in a way that feels that feels easy. So one of the methods that this building a second brain world have for us is the Pata method. I've talked about this in a previous video where I've explained how Pata means projects, areas, resources, and archives, and how I manage that information in Notion. When we hop into my Notion, we immediately see that in my sidebar, there's only four levels of organization. This is the pattern method that I'm talking about. I actively mentor and coach clients and students from the course to feel confident about their systems. And para, this method, gives a lot of freedom in that sense. Projects, it's all about what are we actively working on right now? What do we need so our project flows easily? We start with projects because this is the most actionable information that I have and the things that I want to get the fastest. I know I'm going to be finding things very soon because I've organized things in this way. Areas are departments or the parts of my life that I'm managing. So that means your fitness, the challenges that you have, clients that you manage, your own self. So all of these different areas that can help you kind of manage your life. This information is not as actionable, so that's why it's a level below. I still have it in my projects page, so I can just quickly go to where I want to go. So all of the resources uh, are, is the knowledge that I know I might use in the future. These are collections of interests that I've uh, gathered over time. And finally, the archive is the things that are not needed that I have completed uh, and they're no longer relevant for me to to see every day. That's why it's all separated. So projects, the most actionable information and archive is the bottom. The first thing I see when I open my projects page is my journal, my to-do list, my mood boards, my projects, my areas, my habit tracker, and the, th the things that I'm collecting from many different places online. My journal database is a place where I can vent, where I can talk about my day, where I can write and be creative. In my journal, I also have many different things that can help me focus. So I, I have my goals for this quarter, I have my review from pa the past week and the things that I want to do in the future. I have templates that can help me with focusing in this moment and also daily prompts that can kind of motivate me to continue, right? The to-do list is basically connected to my projects so, and also to my Google Calendar. Now with Notion, with the API out and about, <laughs> then it's amazing how we can connect and integrate different apps together. So I connect my Google Calendar that goes directly in my to-do list. I also have my projects where I group them by priority. So the things that I'm working on now, I can find it here. 
but there are projects that are just ideas or things that take time, like a slow burn. So I have them separated so they don't clutter my space. So the only things that matter to me are in there. Another aspect, it's kind of a fun part for me, is my productive mood. <laughs> so sometimes I don't feel like I want to be working much and other days I feel like I want to go, go, go. And so I created different dashboards depending on my mood. For example, the one that you see right now is more of a creative good day mood. But what happens when I'm not feeling so well? So the emergency page for me May, creates a space where I can go to to the issue. So if I'm feeling really shitty, then I can just open the emergency mood and go through the different resources that I left for myself. So I can follow some instructions depending on how I'm feeling. So sometimes I'm inactive, I don't want to get out of bed, and that means that's a one or two mood, that's an emergency kind of mood, so that's the lowest of the lowest. Um, I may have been triggered, I need to vent, and I have all the information just in case. Each one has another level of functionality. If I'm not doing so well or I know I'm getting a little bit depressed, I go through kind of like a prep depression checklist where I manage a lot of things before it hits because I know it's it's kind of like a, a cycle, right? Sometimes I need to have a space to journal where I vent or talk about a specific issue that's not helping me. And then I also give myself some resources and videos to calm myself down. Three to four mood means that I'm a little bit anxious, I might be crying a lot, and I'm getting I'm getting to the space of emergency mode. And in order to not get to the emergency mode, then I just go into recovery. Last year, I was uh, using my journaling to journal my moods. And I found that luckily, I'm most in a six to seven mood, which is great. And finally, I have my habit tracker. The way that I track my habits is a very tiny way. And I'm not tracking everything, but just what I want to kind of installing my life. For example, I want to build a habit of exercise and I don't exercise at all. So I just start with one thing each week. So these are weekly goals of habits because changing habits too quickly may overwhelm your sense of safety, which is kind of needed to build a foundation of growth. Small habits can help you succeed very easily. So I just have to do one squat for exercise and, and that's the thing that I need to do, is consistency. And over time, I build again the trust and confidence with myself after years of not keeping these promises because I just overwhelming myself. So I intended to follow very, very tiny steps that I can improve or iterate over time. Eventually, by the end of this month, I will be able to go to the gym every uh, other day. And that's the goal. The way that I'm breaking the goals down is by following the 12 week year. And I give myself 12 weeks of progressions on how I can improve my habits. So whenever I'm intending to stick with the habit, so for the habit of exercise, I create weekly mini goals that can over time iterate into something bigger. If you're also looking to track habits in Notion and better integrate the habits and be very intentional about what you want to do, then I suggest you check out my six lesson mini course on habits and it's all in Notion. You can go through brainstorming session and making sure that you're reviewing each habit each week. So that's kind of like a systematic way to think about your habits and what you want to build for yourself. There you have it. So I have a question for you. What is one thing that you said today in this video that you can implement in your own system? I also want to know, what do you want to watch? What do you want me to show you about Notion or productivity or knowledge management? So leave it in the comment below. What do you want to see next? Thanks again for watching this video. As always, please hit the like button if you liked it. 
leave a comment below and tell us what you want to see or what you thought about it. And also subscribe to this channel so I know that you really enjoy this stuff and share it with your friends, please. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.